Before the video starts, I just want to say that I am temporarily bringing back the scary picture of the day. So here it is. This picture was actually created by Too Spooky for Me on a really awesome app called Horror Amino that is available for both iPhone and Android. Horror Amino is a really cool app because it's the only social network out there that was created exclusively for people who are into horror, which is unlike social media such as Twitter and Facebook where they pretty much show you everything, Horror Amino it actually filters everything out, so all you're going to see here is just horror stuff, which once again is perfect if you are a horror fan. With this app, you can do so many things, from simply learning about horror, to chatting with other horror fanatics, to creating polls and discussions for other people to participate in. Personally, one of my favorite topics I saw on the news feed recently was someone asking people about what horror movies they've watched thousands of times, since I'm always looking for a good scary movie to watch. Not only is this app extremely user-friendly, but it's also completely free, so I definitely recommend that you download Horror Amino and follow me on it. And while you're at it, you can also post your thoughts about this video on a discussion that I recently created on it. There have been numerous cases throughout time of people mysteriously disappearing, most of which will put people in a state of curiosity and awe. This results in people coming up with a bunch of explanations for the disappearance. These explanations can be as reasonable as a murderer or accidental death, or some not so reasonable such as ghost or alien abductions. One thing that makes a lot of these incidents strange, however, is the fact that many of these people are never actually found, regardless of how much of an effort was put into the search. One example of this is the disappearance of Lars Mittank. In July of 2014, a 28-year-old man from Berlin, Germany named Lars Mittank was visiting Bulgaria with some of his friends. While on the trip, Lars got into a fight with some tourists at the beach over football. During the fight, he did receive an injury in his ear. Shortly after the fight, Lars and his friends went to a bar for a little bit and then went to a McDonald's, but strangely enough, Lars stayed outside. When his friends came outside the McDonald's, Lars was gone, and the next morning, he told his friends that he got into another fight, but this time there were Russian guys that were hired to beat him up. This story in and of itself seems really weird and unbelievable, so I don't blame me for not believing it. Even his friends didn't believe him. Lars' friends ended up bringing him to a hospital because of his ear injury, and the doctor said that he had a ruptured eardrum. As a result, Lars bought an antibiotic called... I'm not going to try to pronounce this, but here it is on the screen. When the time came for Lars and his friends to go home, Lars decided to stay in Bulgaria for a while since the doctor advised him not to go on a flight in order to not further injure his ear. After Lars' friends left, he went to his hotel room and ended up texting his mother, panicking, and told her that he didn't feel safe. He even told her that she should cancel his credit card. He continued to tell her that he was hiding and that there were four men following him. Even stranger was the fact that he texted her and asked her what the pills that he took were. Two hours later, a cab drove Lars to the airport, and once he arrived there, he went to see a doctor. While he was in the doctor's office, he became anxious and muttered something. The doctor tried to calm him down, but after a few minutes, Lars just got up and ran out of the airport. People saw him climb over a fence and disappear into a forest. Like I said before, this happened in 2014, and ever since, no one has found him yet. He just disappeared. I want to apologize if I can't shed much light on this, but a lot of the information was obviously in German, so this is the information I was able to find. There's obviously a lot of possibilities of what could have happened to Lars, but there are some things we can get rid of right off the bat. His strange behavior might indicate some type of mental illness or drug use, but we know this is most likely not the case because his family says he had no history of mental illness and there really wasn't any proof at all that he's using any drugs. Well, no drugs except for the antibiotics that he took. One of the doctors was asked about that, and said the antibiotics he took were not likely to result in any side effects, and even if they did, I looked at the side effects that could be caused by these pills, and none of the side effects matched with any of Lars' symptoms. Plus, Lars started acting weird at the McDonald's, which happened before he even got the pills, so we know the pills probably had nothing to do with it. The most probable reason for Lars' behavior was probably his injury during the fight. When he took a blow to the head, it probably messed him up. I think this is very possible since he really didn't start acting strange until after the fight. And then of course there's also the possibility that Lars was actually telling the truth when he told his friends that there were some Russian guys that were hired to beat him up, which might have been the four people he told his mother were following him. Honestly, I really doubt this because it wouldn't explain a lot of the other weird stuff that he did, so my best bet is that his head injury probably messed him up. This whole thing is still unsolved, and no one knows where Lars is to this day. However, there was a truck driver that came forward and said that a man that matched Lars' description hitchhiked with him. So, who knows if Lars is still out there going crazy, or if he's just dead. Either way, if he is one day found, then it'll bring a lot of closure to a lot of people. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side. And don't forget to go to Horror Amino, and post what you think happened to Lars Matank on the topic that I posted.